Hello friends, welcome to a new episode of Strat India. Today we will discuss about a new top secret of American BVR missile in the making using dual pulse technology. To counter the new Chinese dual pulse P-15 BVR missile, the US Air Force is planning to begin a new long-range dual pulse BVR missile called AIM-260, the Joint Advanced Tactical Missile as a replacement for the Raytheon AIM-120 Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air Missile. The AIM-260 is the USAF's priority arm development, prompted at least in part by China's increasingly capable arm inventory. The People's Liberation Army Air Force's latest arm to enter service, the PL-15, joined the inventory in 2018 and has a greater range than the AIM-120 family. Though US Air Force has a dual-pulse BVR missile called AIM-120D which has higher range coupled to AIM-120C and better end-game performance. However, US Air Force wants to maintain the lead in the BVR missile technology. The AIM-260 undoubtedly offers marked improvements over the AIM-120, including in overall range. There remain questions, however, as to its maximum flyout range and its end-game performance at extended ranges. The missile designer may have come up with a novel propulsion approach for the AIM-260 to address this, or perhaps there is an unseen development intended to provide a much longer range engagement weapon. The USAF alternatively could rely on the tactical advantage of low observable launch platforms, such as the F-22 and to a lesser extent the F-35, combined with the AIM-260's performance to defeat aircraft with notionally longer-range missiles. The new AIM-260 is being developed primarily to outrange the Chinese missiles which could possibly be achieved through propulsion or a different warhead design. Because of the dimensional constraints, a ramjet motor like the one employed in the pan-European Meteor missile is not possible. As a result, a new solid fuel motor, potentially a dual-pulse kind to ensure energy across the flight envelope like the PL-15, seems more plausible. This new propulsion unit might be paired with miniaturization of other components to increase the fuel load and travel even more range. Advanced highly loaded grain propellant, which is also being researched for use in other air-to-air missiles, could assist boost performance without adding to the overall size of the missile. The missile may deploy a different type of warhead, such as a direction warhead, which might be smaller than the normal type but more accurate, allowing it to be scaled down. Another option is a hit-to-kill missile. The missile may employ a better data link options, better off-bore sight and better active AESA radar guidance system. However, the clear picture will only emerge once the United States Air Force completes the tests and unveils its AIM-260 very long-range missile. One thing is sure and that is the missile will have a range on par or longer than the Chinese missile. The US Air Force has been busy flying QF-16 full-scale aerial target, or FSAT, missions in support of the Lockheed Martin AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile Program. While the AIM-260, or JATM, remains a highly secretive weapon, it's now clear that test work is well underway, with around 30 FSAT missions last year alone. This would make sense given that the goal is to have the new missile start arming Air Force and Navy aircraft as early as next year. As competition gets heated and the overall geopolitical differences spill over to newer flashpoints like Taiwan and South China Sea, an arms race like this one is expected to continue. China's rise is the biggest challenge that the United States is faced with and as China asserts itself militarily over American allies, the fault lines are going to become stronger. Feel free to share your views on comments box. If you like this video, please share and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more of these videos. With this I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends.